Ever thought caves were just quiet, dark spaces underground? Think again. What if I told you a cave sealed for millions of years had something scary living in it? Crazy, right? But Mother Nature is full of wild plot twists. Buckle up, because we're about to uncover some of Earth's cave wonders that'll make your jaw drop. Number one, cave full of wine. Ever fantasized about taking a sip of the most ancient wine? How would it taste? Well, some lucky scientists got a taste, albeit figuratively, of what might just be the world's oldest vino. A captivating cave in Sicily decided it had been holding on to its secret for way too long. Hidden within? Not pirate treasure, but something perhaps even more thrilling, evidence of Italian wine production dating back over 6,000 years. Forget what you thought about Italy's winemaking timeline. These researchers didn't find just any ancient grape juice. Oh, no. They uncovered actual wine residue in age-old terracotta jars. Talk about getting corked in time. And here's the fun chemistry bit. How did they know it was wine? Because of our dear molecules, tartaric acid and its BFF, cream of tartar, both commonly found frolicking in grapes during the winemaking jig. This not only pushes Italy's winemaking timeline back by a whopping 3,000 years, but also uncorks a tale that says, Hey, Sicily, you're not just a current wine hotspot. You're the original wine guru. Cheers to the past. Number two, million years sealed cave. Ever thought about stumbling into a time capsule from 5.5 million years ago? That's what it felt like for researchers who unlocked the mysterious Movile Cave. Imagine a cave where the sun has never peeked in and where the air can be, well, pretty unfriendly. But wait, there's life in there. Discovered accidentally in 1986, when people were on the lookout for a good nuclear power plant spot. Because priorities, right? The Movile Cave was like no other. With an air recipe of less oxygen and a dash of hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, it wasn't exactly the freshest breath of air, but it's not the weird air cocktail that left biologists scratching their heads. They found party guests in there. Yup, in 1996, a team of curious biologists uncovered 48 species chilling in this dark abyss. The surprise twist? 33 of those had never been spotted anywhere else. Just imagine spiders, snails, and even pseudoscorpions kind of like scorpions, hipster cousins, adapted for life in the pitch dark. No need for eyes because, well, who needs them when you can't see anyway? And no color either, just long limbs and antennas to get around. The biggest surprise was the food chain. The bacteria here don't wait around for sunlight. They're innovative, relying on chemosynthesis, turning chemicals into energy. It's kind of like deep-sea hydrothermal vents, but minus the usual deep-sea partnerships. Here's where it gets even cooler. With so much left to discover inside, the cave could potentially tell us more about evolution and the resilience of life. Think about it. If life finds a way here, where else might it be lurking? Number three, Altamora Man. Ever wondered what your distant, distant, I mean really distant relatives looked like? Dive into the mysterious Lamalunga Caves of Italy, where the intriguing Altamora Man was chilling for 170,000 years. Picture this. Stalactites and stalagmites had practically given him a bear hug, making it super tricky for researchers to study him in detail. Found in 1993, this Neanderthal skeleton was a jackpot. Why? It was the oldest DNA storehouse of our long-lost cousins. But hang on, the plot thickens. Although eager to know more, scientists took a step back. The reason? Altamura Man was a bit too cozy with his rocky surroundings. Not wanting to risk damaging this invaluable piece of history, the remains were left untouched. Yet science always finds a way. A teeny tiny bit of DNA from his shoulder opened the gates to our Neanderthal history like never before. Now, while he's been called the most intact, non-human skeleton, Mr. Altamora wasn't easy to figure out. With his unusually massive brow ridges, even other Neanderthals might have called him Brow Boss. The real twist. Although his dating profile says he's around 130,000 to 170,000 years old, he's not the eldest Neanderthal we've met. Imagine the family reunions. Number four, Ruby Falls, Tennessee. Ever heard of a waterfall deep inside a cave that's both majestic and, well, kind of romantic? Meet Ruby Falls inside Lookout Mountain Caverns, Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's not just any waterfall. It's America's highest underground cascade, free-falling a jaw-dropping 145 feet. But these caverns aren't just about geological eye candy. They've witnessed history serving as shelters during the Civil War. But here's a twist. They were sealed off thanks to some enthusiastic railway building. Enter our hero, Leo Lambert, an adventurous soul who rediscovered the caverns. In a sweet twist, he named the falls after his wife, Ruby. Fast forward to today, 
and Ruby Falls becomes a visual concert with electronic lights playing out a kaleidoscope of colors. Imagine stalactites and stalagmites watching over a waterfall bathed in a rainbow of lights. Sounds like something from a fantasy movie, right? Or a swanky underground disco. Number five, Castle in the Cave. Ever imagined finding a castle in a cave? Well, meet the Pajama Castle, nestled inside a cave complex in southwest Slovenia. Sitting atop a dramatic 400-foot cliff, it's not just any castle, it's the largest cave castle as per the Guinness World Records. Hailing from the 13th century with a Renaissance facade from the 1580s, it's a treat for history buffs. But here's a quirky twist. Even its toilet tells a tale. Remember Erasmus von Lueg? Often compared to Robin Hood, he took refuge here in the 1480s after a controversial duel. When besieged, he didn't just sit tight. He sent cherries to his enemies, sourced from the distant Vipava Valley using secret tunnels. Talk about a cheeky move. Sadly, his saga ended when he was betrayed by a servant and met a cannonball while visiting that historical outhouse. But hold on. Another cave awaits with its own set of legends. Ready? Number six. Cave with world oldest bow and arrow. Ever played with a bow and arrow as a kid? You know the pretend Robin Hood games? Well, imagine if your arrows were 48,000 years old, found deep within the recesses of the F.A. Hien Cave in Sri Lanka, were the oldest arrowheads known to mankind. Now that's some ancient craftsmanship, but there's more. Along with these antique arrows were some swanky beads, shimmering with mineral ochre and marine snail shells. Talk about dressing for the occasion. Makes you wonder, were our ancestors just aiming at their prey or trying to impress them too? Picture this. A squirrel being wooed by a bead-decorated arrow before, well, becoming dinner. These findings have archaeologists rethinking history. Gone are the days when innovation was solely credited to Africa and Europe. With this discovery, South Asia steps into the spotlight, raising its bow and arrow, saying, Hey, we've been trendy for a while. A toolkit that diverse 48,000 years ago, hunting, accessorizing, and adapting, I mean, who knew our ancestors from Sri Lanka were such multifaceted beings? These findings are not just about bows and arrows, but about the versatility and adaptability of the human spirit. So the next time you try some DIY or show off your new accessory, remember, you might just be carrying forward a 48000 year old legacy. Number 7. Reed Flute Cave. Ever been in a place that felt like it jumped straight out of a fairy tale? Deep in Gillen City, the Reed Flute Cave does just that. Picture this. You walk into a majestic cave, with dew-kissed stalagmites welcoming you, each radiating like a gem under rainbow-colored lights. You might as well be entering another world. Ever thought what the Statue of Liberty would look like as a stalagmite? Well, in this cave, nature's artistry seems to replicate even man-made wonders. It's said that you can spot mythical creatures in the rock formations, too. Dragons? Anyone? But the magic doesn't stop there. Flowing quietly is a serene underground river, echoing nature's own mirror, reflecting the wonder from above. Step outside and bam, fields of reeds stretch out, giving this otherworldly cave its name. Oh, and ever the historic show-off, the cave walls boast 77 ancient inscriptions, poems, travel tales, a trip advisor from the Tang Dynasty, perhaps. Talking about history, this cave played hide and seek for a bit, vanishing from popularity and reappearing thanks to refugees in the 1940s. Since its rediscovery, everyone, from global dignitaries to curious travelers, has been charmed by the reed flute cave. Its allure? A blend of natural art and history proving once again Mother Nature is the ultimate storyteller. Number 8. Guattari Cave. Ready for a twisty tale from the past? Nestled between Rome and Naples, the Guattari Cave whispers tales of mystery and intrigue. Once upon a time, or you know, back in 1939, archaeologist Alessandro Guattari happened upon an ancient Neanderthal skull. The setting? A chilling circle of stones. And oh boy, the plot thickens. That skull had, wait for it, a hole. Cue the spooky music because folks quickly jumped to the conclusion. Ritualistic cannibalism. Dark, right? But don't jump to conclusions just yet. The plot had a twist. Recent detective work a.k.a. archaeology, dug up heaps of animal bones, gobbled up not by humans but hyenas. These weren't your regular Lion King hyenas. Think bigger and meaner. So these ancient hyena pals might have been behind those Neanderthal leftovers after all. And there we have it, folks. From ancient relics to mysterious creatures, Earth's caves never cease to amaze. Each winding passage and echoing chamber tells a unique story of time, evolution, and sheer wonder. As we've seen... 
Beneath our very feet lie stories waiting to be told and secrets just itching to be revealed. Who knows what else lurks in the hidden corners of our planet? But one thing's for sure. Every cave has a tale, and we've only just scratched the surface. As we continue to delve into the unknown, let's remember that nature always has more surprises in store. The mysteries of today might just be the discoveries of tomorrow. Thanks for joining this underground adventure with us. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.